You can change the speed a video will play at and captivate using some really simple JavaScript because a big trend in e-learning these days, especially in regards to videos, is being able to speed up or slow down a video to help the learner kind of take things at their own pace. So in my project here, we'll look at, we've got two slides. The second one is my finished slide. First one's a demo where we're just gonna kinda walk you through exactly what you need to do to add this into your own project. So we'll go ahead and preview this, look at what we're going up with. A lot of valuable information can be found in library databases. The most effective way so by using these buttons, the I can change the speed, the play at normal speed, results. half speed, double speed, etc. So that's what we're looking at. Um, in order to do that, what we're going to want to do is um, use buttons to fire a JavaScript action that will alter a property of the video on the site or the, the internet will the this project will be hosted eventually. So right now these buttons won't be doing anything. If I go ahead and look at the JavaScript window in here, there's nothing. There's a semicolon that won't do anything. So I want to take these buttons. I want to put on success, have them execute JavaScript, make sure this button right here is unchecked, continue playing the project so that it does not move past as the video is playing. And I'll show you what code we need to put in here. We're actually going to use JavaScript to alter an HTML5 property called playback rate. So we'll start off with a variable. It can be anything. I'll name ours my video. Say that equals all video objects that are on the page. So this will put all the videos, in our case only one video, there's only going to be one video on this slide, and put it into the variable my video. Then we're going to take my video, take that at the very first place in that variable, the zero location, you're going to use a square bracket, zero square bracket, dot playback rate, and set that equal to whatever we want the playback rate to be. In our case right here, it's going to be 0 0.5, semicolon. We're going to copy this code. Um, come take a look at a couple of our other buttons. Paste that in there, just changing this value. Normal speed and then double speed. And when I preview this, video will play. A lot of valuable information can be found. We can set that to double database. speed. The most effective way to search databases is by using half speed keywords. or back to normal speed. So there you have it. Um, as simple as that, you can really add in two lines that can add this like a deep level of accessibility. Uh, where the learner can really take things at their own speed rather than being forced into being bored or overwhelmed by too much or too little information while the video is playing and add in a deeper level.